I talked about the value of uh, my experience anyway at Intel. And uh, so then somebody asked me a really tough question, which is what would be my advice to an MBA now? And I think the place where I'd start is to uh, recommend that you go to a field first that you believe is attractive, but secondly, where you have technical expertise, some kind of technology expertise. And that doesn't mean you gotta go get a degree in engineering or computer science if you don't have one. But if, if I had decided that I was really interested in, in the uh, technology of uh, hybrid seed breeding, I would find while I'm here one or two courses outside the school and audit those or take those for credit because you are also at one of the great scientific and engineering institutions of the world. And I'd work to network in that way because I think innovation and in technology is a great disruptor. That doesn't mean you've got to pursue seed breeding as a career for the rest of your life. But I must tell you, all the CEOs that I know or startup executives who are trying to lead and run technology companies and who can't program or don't have some grounding in the technology, they regret that. So that'd be one piece of advice. Uh, th the second thing is uh, I would, as I said before, network like crazy. I hate to say this with the dean here, but I don't think your grades at Stanford Business School matter. What, what, what matters is gonna be the, uh, of course they're important. You... <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think the quality of the networks and your hunger uh, for, uh, for, for learning and figure out how you're gonna make a difference in the world is I believe more, more important than, than those. Is there any third advice? Okay, so this is out of the, out of the professional domain. But I, I am convinced without doubt, and it goes without saying, that the most important decision you'll make during, say, your 20s is who it is that you would choose to spend the rest of your life with. So don't give that short shrift. Don't wait until you're 30 to figure out who you may marry, because you might find yourself running out of time by that time and end up choosing whoever it is you're, you happen to be with. There's a wonderful author who's just put out a book on this topic called uh, The Defining Decade, and her name is Meg Jay. And I won't say anything more about that, but those would be three of the top things on my agenda. And, and Price, a number of you already have that covered, so forgive me. I'm one of the partners at Kleiner Perkins Caulfield and Byers. People would think I run the place. I do not. I get one vote around the table in what we invest in and, and in what we do. Our partnership is, <clears throat> I think, unique in Silicon Valley in that we're not a quantity shop. We're trying to invest in, in the most things. We're, like Stanford Business School, more interested in quality, and in particular, in the entrepreneur.